family, what's up? It's your boy Ronnie, aka King Cool, with the Peace of Mind podcast. Live at Dr- live at Raleigh World Festival with Ty Harris, Zebulon, North Carolina. What's good? My hey, boy? shout out, shout out, Zebulon Love, Zebulon yes, Love. Yes, sir. I'm from the city, but I just moved out there. You hey, know what I'm saying? You still there to me, man? That's what's up. Carolina Love all day, definitely, all day, definitely. man. So I want to kick it off, man. Just tell the people a little bit about yourself, your, your style of music, and maybe some of your influences, man. Got you. Again, Ty Harris, Zebulon, North Carolina. Um, been doing this music thing since I was 16. I'm not giving out my age. I don't give a care how, long, how young I look. Um, as far as musical influences go, um, even though I do lyrical trap, I would have to say that Nas, Ludacris, those are two of my biggest influences mm-hmm. right there. See, I was trying to guess the age based off of the answer, but you said that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what you think about the, uh, about Nas's latest album, though? Magic the 3. whole six album run was incredible. I think it revitalized his career. Most definitely. He definitely revitalized his career. And above all else, as a fan, I'm proud of him because I didn't see it coming. Yeah. And I think what's dope, I mean, people always had this perception that Nas picks lame beats, you know what I'm saying? You hit out. And I'm a Nas fan myself, too. Yes, sir. So it's like, it's kind of like, for me, my, my greatest... My greatest rapper right now is Wayne, right? Uh-huh. And I'm born in 9 day. I give you my age. I'm 25. Okay. So, like, I came up watching Wayne early 2000s. Uh, the dedications, like, all okay. of the, the, the droughts, all of those mixtapes. And it's like... When you're so when you somebody that really loves the game, sometimes you you gonna miss because uh-huh. that that may be dope to you. You may do something Definitely. that everybody's not gonna feel, mm-hmm. but it's it's what you feel. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? I think that's um what's really beautiful about music. Everybody has something that they can connect to and just and just grow. And I think uh right now Raleigh, North Carolina is next to blow, man. Oh, I'm right there with you, and that's why I love this city, and that's why I'm trying to stay right up in here. <laughs> let's go, let's go. What uh what do you think is what do you think separates the sound of North Carolina from, you know, the Atlantas, the the uh, Floridas, you know, just the South in general? Um, between lyricism and all and all around just subject matter, um, I believe that as North Carolina artists, we really pull more out of ourselves Most definitely. Um, when it comes down to making music, like um, from uh, from your Coles to your little brothers to your um, uh, what's my man name uh, Jalen Santoy. Um, definitely, like you listen to their projects and it's just like they're giving you a piece of them. Yeah, we and got that's like a you... lot of low key legends too. Like very true legends, producers, rappers, and all that stuff. People that you don't even know are associated with North. Carolina. And that's the beautiful thing. You know, I was talking to some of the artists earlier, and I think what really separates North Carolina as a whole is just, we already feel as if we're underdogs, so it's like we fight for it. We fighting to give you the real us. Put it on the hardest beats. Give you the hardest lyrics, uh-huh. because it's like, bro, we really rap. Like, people call <laughs> we really, us... really, really rap. People compare us to Atlanta and all this shit. Nah, like, this is North Carolina. This is our own sound. Exactly. Very much so. Most definitely, most definitely, man. So, one of the questions I did want to ask you, like, because I believe this is the second Raleigh World Festival, correct? Yeah, this is my second. This this is the second Raleigh World. This is actually my second time. This being is your here. second time yes, coming too. So obviously, this is a great opportunity. We're in a legendary venue, the same place that Dreamville Festival is held. Definitely. How do you plan to capitalize off of performing here today? I'm getting footage of it for all y'all to. Do. <laughs> hey, ownership, ownership, ownership. Is key. I'm getting footage of it. That's what you and, gotta um, do. Of course, you just shop it around. There's um another festival that I'm gonna use this footage for. They go ahead. They they say you know you need we need something to put behind you know instead of just your Instagram name and you just send the music. Hey, I got footage right here from this local festival. All right. Put me on. Yeah, everything is about brand building, man. And um, we started this thing about a year ago. I was talking to you off camera earlier. Uh We started this thing about a year ago. And, um, you know, it's really just ownership is not just ownership. That's a very broad umbrella. It comes with a lot of times you need a team to be successful. You got to find the right pieces to, you know, catch my sound, to put out my image and stuff like that. So it's, it's all about growing and you know, maybe maybe you will blow off for this festival. Maybe you won't. Maybe you I come out here and meet the right people that'll help you. Very true. So I, I hope think I it's do. just con- you know it's uh, a continuous journey, man. Yeah, man. I'm right there with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I appreciate you taking the time, man. Uh, you got any projects that's about to drop? What will you be performing today? Hey, listen. As far as projects that have dropped, my Black Adam album just came out last year. Very crazy. Pretty much my best work to date. Um, I'm currently working on a new project called Half Ass Legend. And uh, as far as today, I I'm love perform- tonight. <laughs> as far as uh, what I'm performing today, I'll be giving y'all uh, Black Adam from that project. Uh, new Mexico featuring my boy 3AM Sal. Uh, I'm also giving y'all something new. It's nothing that nobody's ever heard before. And then I'm gonna end it out with Bus a Bus. 
Bust a bust. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, just be around for when that happens. That's dope, man. I'm going to definitely check you out. I'm looking forward to your performance, man. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all having me. Yes, sir. This has been the Peace of Mind Podcast. Where can we find you? On, you on social media? You on IG? What's, what's your platform? Yes, sir. I'm baby? everywhere. You can find me everywhere at I'm Just Ty Harris. That's I M J U S T T Y H A R R I Z. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This has been the Peace of Mind Podcast.